Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Sworn Random and welcome to another Midnight Ghost Hunt video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the damage numbers for every single hunter weapon that is available. There are 10 different weapons available to us and they all do vastly different things, so let's get into the video. First off, we've got the starting weapon, which is the Spectral Cannon. The Spectral Cannon does 27 damage, which is a 4-shot kill to your standard ghost and is a 2-shot up to an 8-shot on various props. Notably, the Spectral Cannon also does a smaller amount of splash damage, which goes from 8 to 10. Next up, we've got the Assault Shotgun. Now, the Assault Shotgun does 60 damage if you are extremely close, and this scales all the way down to 1 damage depending on the range that you're shooting from. Notably, this weapon is a 2-shot kill if you are close, all the way up to a essentially 100-shot kill, assuming that they ghosts have 100 health. Worth mentioning is that the Assault Shotgun does knockback and has a very wide range. This can allow you to spray into rooms and maybe get a damage hit marker off and let you find props. The third weapon we're going to be taking a look at is the Ghost Smasher. Now, the Ghost Smasher does 52 damage to a ghost, which is a two-shot kill, but it only does 18 damage to a prop, which is a three-shot break on the smallest of props and a 12-shot break on the largest of props. True to its name, the Ghost Smasher absolutely destroys ghosts, making it incredibly useful once you find a ghost outside of its prop. Next we have the opposite of the Ghost Smasher, which is the Sledgehammer. The Sledgehammer does 3 damage to ghosts, which essentially results in a 33 hit kill, absolutely horrendous for damaging ghosts, but it does 37 damage to props, which is a 2 shot kill on the smallest of props up to a 6 shot kill on the largest of props, which is actually pretty good. If you want to risk getting that close, the sledgehammer is pretty good once midnight hits and all the ghosts are sprinting at you in their red enraged props. Now let's take a look at Project X. Now the Project X does 15 damage to ghosts, which results in a 7 shot kill. And it does 19 damage to props, which is a 3 shot kill on the smallest of props and a 9 shot kill on the largest of props. Notably, like the Spectral Cannon, Project X does splash damage, which ranges from 6 to 11. Project X also has a little bit of a delay between pressing the trigger and firing and then ramps up as it goes. But do not let it overheat because the cooldown is extremely costly. And now we're going to be taking a look at the Frostbite weapon, probably the most interesting of the weapons and the most unique in my opinion. The Frostbite is essentially the submachine gun of all of the weapons, and it does 3 to 6 damage, seemingly at random from my testing, up to a 25 shot kill on a ghost. The Frostbite notably does not do damage to props until they are frozen, at which point it will do the same amount as it does to ghosts. I want to point out that the Frostbite actually has a incredible range, and it's pretty accurate. You can kind of shoot this thing from really anywhere, and for being such a fast firing gun, this makes maps with vantage points like Graveyard crazy. You can just kind of spray the whole map down in maybe a minute or two. Now let's take a look at the Reaper. It is a crazy fun weapon to use. It does 17 damage when you initially hit either a ghost or a prop, and then ticks for 3, 3, and then final, finally blows up for 44. It is a two shot kill on ghosts and a one shot to three shot kill on props, which is incredibly interesting. This is devastating to most small props and incredibly useful against large props. Although it does cause a small explosion, I have seen that there is no splash damage that comes from the Reaper. Next, let's take a look at probably my favorite weapon so far that I've played with, which is the Harpoon Bazooka. Now, the Harpoon Bazooka does 10 damage, ticks for 4, 5, and finally 6. But if you haven't used it, what makes the Harpoon Bazooka so interesting is that it chains the ghost to you and allows them to not move. This essentially results in the chaining of an object or a ghost, and finally them dying immediately at the hands of your teammates. Next up, let's take a look at the Riot Shield, which I still have not found a use for outside of trying to stall past midnight. I really don't see any purpose for this thing so far. The Riot Shield does 6 damage to ghosts and 11 damage to props. It does knockback and it does a considerable amount of knockback. This does a 13 hit kill to ghosts and a 4 to 18 hit kill from the smallest to largest props. 
And lastly, we have the Flamethrower. Now, the Flamethrower is an incredibly good weapon to use. If you have not used it, I would suggest you try it out. The Flamethrower will set ghosts or props on fire and ticks for 6 damage. This results in what is a 17 tick kill, but the props being on fire also makes them easier to track. It means you can pretty much just hose down props for their entire life while they just try to run. It does the same amount of damage to props, which is a about an 8 hit kill on most of your smaller props, and it, t it can take up to 2 entire clips in my testing to kill stuff as big as like the knight. So yeah guys, that is pretty much all that I have found from my testing in the damage. I would like to point out that like my friend Frost or Trial by Frost on YouTube told me, these damage numbers will not equate to what happens at midnight. At midnight, ghosts will take a damage reduction, and this is a pretty significant damage reduction up to, I believe it might be about 50%. But yeah guys, that is pretty much all there is for this video. If you like what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe. I should be bringing you guys all kinds of ranking content. I believe the next thing that I'm planning to do is going to be actually ranking the weapons and trying to figure out which one is going to come out on top. If you guys have any other ideas or things that you would like to see from me, please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video.